Hey, hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some hidden Fire Stick settings that I would suggest changing to not only improve your user experience, but also Amazon is secretly collecting your data behind the scenes. Now, I have a complete guide here that walks you through all of the different hidden Fire Stick settings in more detail, including how to change them. I also have some frequently asked questions and just some other details on hidden settings. I will leave a link to this in the description below. So guys, in this example, I'm going to be using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, but these hidden Fire Stick settings can be changed on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now guys, the first thing I would suggest doing before changing any of these settings to make sure they're all there and working I would hover over the settings icon and click My Fire TV, click About, and I would first check that your Fire Stick has the latest software. So click Check for Updates. And as you'll see, My Fire TV Stick is up to date, but if yours is not, I would suggest doing a quick software update before diving in. So guys, the first hidden Fire Stick setting I wanna show you is enabling apps from unknown sources. Because the Fire Stick is powered on the Android operating system, we can sideload applications that are not available inside the Amazon App Store. This process of sideloading can be also be referred to as jailbreaking, but we are not actually modifying any firmware by doing this. So to enable unknown sources on your Fire Stick, guys, the first thing you will need to do is install the downloader app. You'll see here I already have downloader installed. If you do not, you can simply go to the Amazon App Store and search for downloader to install this application. And once you have downloader installed, hover over the settings icon, scroll down and click My Fire TV, click About, and then click Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button, click developer options, click install unknown apps, click downloader, and you should see on. So now we have turned on the ability to install apps from unknown sources within downloader. So guys, that is the hidden fire stick setting number one. And there's a lot more that you can do with this. I'm gonna show you just a quick example here of what I mean in practice. So I'm gonna enter a code 298344. I did that very quickly, but it's right there in the URL box. And I'm gonna wait a few seconds while this redirects to our IPTV Wire Quick Links page. And once we are on our Quick Links page, guys, I would come up here right away and I'd click this icon with the three lines, click Add Current Page to Favorites, click Save, and that way it's now saved in your favorites within Downloader. So now because we have enabled apps from unknown sources, you can access our Quick Links page and you can install each of these third-party applications with one click. And that's the beauty of this hidden Fire Stick setting. So guys, the second hidden Fire Stick setting I wanna show you is changing our privacy settings. So those of you may be aware that Amazon actually collects a wealth of data about your device usage and preferences and then sells that to third parties. So if you guys wanna change that, which I would suggest you do, I would hover over the settings icon here, click preferences, and then you'll see the different options here. I'm more interested in privacy settings for now. So click that and you'll notice all these different options. I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of these off. So device usage data, I'm going to turn that off. Collect app usage data, I'm going to turn that off. Internet-based ads, I'm going to turn that off. So guys, by turning off all of these privacy settings, Amazon can stop collecting all of this data in the background. And if I go back, there's some other options. Data usage monitoring, I've turned that off. And there's some other things you guys can do in here as well. Um, but overall, changing privacy settings, not only do I recommend it, um, but that's an important hidden Fire Stick setting that's not really given to you in the manual that I would suggest changing. All right, guys, the third hidden Fire Stick setting I wanna share with you is turning off navigation sounds. So if I hover over the settings icon and I come down and hit display and sounds, I can then scroll down, hit audio, 
and you'll see navigation sounds. I'm going to turn that off. And guys, if you are ever annoyed by clicking your remote and it makes that annoying click sound in the background of your television, this has happened to me multiple times and I had no idea how to change this. Well, this is how you do it. So now when you scroll around your remote, you won't hear that annoying click sound. So this is a quick one, um, but I figured this would be beneficial as a hidden setting is just changing the navigation sounds. So guys, the fourth hidden Fire Stick setting I'm gonna share with you is changing the screensaver. So if I cover, come over to the settings icon and then I scroll down and hit display and sounds, there's an option for screensaver. I'm gonna click that. And then you'll notice all these different settings you can choose from. So current screensaver, slide style, slide speed. Um, you can choose whatever you would like here. These are all the different settings. I'm actually gonna turn off some of these hints as I don't like when, you know, sometimes there's annoying messages that pop up when I'm, when I'm on my Fire Stick. Um, you can choose start time. And there's just basically a bunch of preferences you can come in here um, to change about your screensaver that most people don't know about and you can personalize your device. So if you wanna change that, you can go to daily memories or just click Amazon collection. Um, nothing too crazy here, guys. But if you do want a different screensaver and just adjusting some of these settings, this is how you would do that. So guys, the fifth hidden Fire Stick setting I wanna share with you is the ability to close background apps and speed up your device. So if I come into Downloader Quick and go back to my IPTV Wire Quick Links page, I'm gonna install a maintenance application called Fast Task Killer. As I scroll down, you'll see it right here. I'm gonna click that and you can do the same if you're following along. Um, but what this is going to do is it's going to quote unquote kill all of the processes of the applications running in the background of my Fire Stick. And this is not only going to clear up RAM, free up space, it's also going to help stop buffering and just improve device performance overall. So guys, I'm going to hold down the home button on my remote once I installed that. I'm going to click apps and I'm going to go ahead and move Fast Task Killer to the front just so it's nice and visible of what I'm about to show you. And so here's Fast Task Killer. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And you'll notice a big message that pops up. I'm gonna click it again as it's gonna disappear here soon. And you'll notice there is a list of terminated processes. So I'm gonna click it again right there, list of terminated processes. So what this just did is it literally killed all of the processes of the different apps running in the background of my Fire Stick. And I can now use this easier as the remote is kind of moving quicker now. Um, typically playback will be better. Just overall, your Fire Stick will run more smoothly. Um, so that's it, guys. That's my fifth hidden Fire Stick setting that I would consider you guys look into. All right, guys, that's it. Those are five hidden Fire Stick settings that I would suggest that you guys change to not only improve your overall user experience with the Fire Stick, but to also protect your data privacy. And one quick final note here, in addition to changing some of these privacy settings, I'd also recommend you guys connect to a VPN. Surfshark VPN is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. And guys, if you do decide to install not only third-party applications, um, but just in general, I don't trust my ISP or internet service provider or Amazon monitoring what I am doing on my device. So guys, being connected to a VPN like Surfshark just helps me keep peace of mind when I am using my Fire Stick or any internet connected device. And guys, I have a special discount link for Surfshark you can find below this video, and that helps keep myself and the channel afloat. So guys, this is Bodie. I truly appreciate you watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I hope this tutorial helped you out, and I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.